Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I have a video almost just like this. Everybody has trouble trying to figure out the nudge distance and nudge key, and without anything selected, your nudge is right here. It even says nudge distance. But if you have something selected, that nudge goes away. This is a six inch circle. Well, it's actually, let's make it a six inch circle. And I'm gonna set my nudge factor on seven. So if I wanna move the interior circle, I'm gonna hit this right arrow key and it's gonna move it over, it's gonna nudge it. What's cool about this, I can nudge it right back to the exact position. Well, I just started thinking, maybe not all keyboards in all countries have these arrow keys. And my keyboard actually says number lock. So if you press the number lock, you can actually use the six key to move that over because it's got a right arrow. So up, down, I don't think it'll do it. Um, like the seven key doesn't work, but the eight key, the two key, the four key, and the six key will be your up and down arrows. I actually saw the arrow at the, it probably has something to do with something else like page down, page up. I don't know what the seven arrow key does. Maybe somebody will uh, chime in here. But anyway, so your normal nudge keys are this right here, and it all depends on what your nudge distance is. If we set it to five inches, then it's only going to nudge it over five inches or up or down, and so on and so on. I evidently didn't change it because I had my number lock locked. So now I changed it to five. I'll grab the center one, and I'll move it over just five inches but I can move it right back. So those are your nudge keys. And if you don't have these, everybody should have these, but just this says block lock or block number. And mine says number lock. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.